All right, good afternoon, class. It is uh, first day of online fabrication. Hopefully, um, we're here just for these two weeks, and that is all because this is not ideal. We know that um, we want to work on hand, on uh, the welding stuff in the class because nobody signed up to my class to learn about welding theory. Um, so hopefully, two weeks. Fingers crossed. We're back in here, and we're getting on the tools. So um thanks everyone for coming in uh everyone found the email that's awesome uh really happy with all that and uh yeah so i take attendance in the chat so i put that little note in there please just drop your name in the chat if you haven't that is my attendance for all of you i uh, go over that at the end and then i mark you present or absent whatever it might be i don't really do lates in here uh, just because it's too hard to keep track of uh so you're either in or you're out so just make sure when you pop in drop your name in the chat and then we are good to go um, so we're gonna start taking care of theory so i have some theory uh regarding uh welding safety so in class we went over the welding safety slideshow and today we're going to expand on that a little bit i have opened up sorry some other stuff in your d2l uh, i've opened up a welding safety jeopardy uh and that normally is a game i play in the class we have a bunch of fun with it give out some prizes but once again everyone's at home and uh it's just not logistically possible to run it online it just doesn't work out that well so i've posted that in as review uh, i do also have a welding safety quiz uh posted in your d2l and i'll bring that up right now so i'm going to share my screen and i'll show you that so what we're going to do is pop here, then we're going to go into this, go here. Uh, so what we have is our Fab 1010, Fabrication Tools and Materials. And we have, I'll show you guys what you will see. So we'll view as a student, uh, because I've got a lot of stuff that you guys can't see because I've got it hidden. Uh, but we work under resources. So big thing is fabrication tools and materials unit. Uh, under resources, we're gonna go down to content. And once we're in content, you're, this is what you're gonna see. Uh, fabrication orientation, should be familiar with that. So the scavenger hunt we did, shop layout assignment we did, course outline over here, we took care of that. So we'll close this one up. Hierarchy of controls, we got the video that we watched in class. We have the outline of what the hierarchy of controls is. Uh, we saw that one. That's always there in case you haven't completed that project yet. Uh, and the example, um, that's the one you submit to the Dropbox. So we'll close that up and we'll go down to welding safety. This is where we're going to be working today. Uh, we have our welding safety PowerPoint here. That's the one we saw in class. So a lot of people are having trouble with this. Uh, they're saying, hey, when I go to look at it, because we'll scroll here, and uh, you'll see that these images are covering the text. So the way to deal with that is what we're going to do is we're going to go over here. We're going to hit this button that says pop out. So we're going to pop that out. And it's going to open up here. And we're going to click on open with Google Slides. So we're going to open up that. Brings us to here. It's kind of a roundabout way of doing it. You can also download this, but if you don't want to download it, uh, we just do it this way. Then what we can do here is we go to present. So now you guys can see this, and I'm just going to use my arrow keys uh, to advance it, and it's going to bring up every piece of information individually. And then what happens is it will put in the uh, pictures after the fact. So this is the exact same way I showed you guys in class. This is how I access it in class to show you. So if you're having trouble with the slideshow, that is exactly how you do it. And we'll just work through page by page. Uh, so we'll pop out of here. Uh, we'll go back to Brightspace. And then uh, we have our safety review Jeopardy. So that's a new one I've opened up for you. So we're going to pop this open. 
And normally, like I said, I like to play this in class with people, but I can't. So what we're going to do is you can scroll through it here. Um, and I normally have questions. It's got some music. I'd give out prizes. But you're going to need this to complete the welding shop safety test. So we're going to go through here. And it gives you a question and an answer, just like in Jeopardy. I've got 71 slides in total. Um, it should be quick to go over because one's a question, one's an answer. And then the title screen, so probably 30 slides or 30 questions in total. And we've gone over a lot of this, but all the information is here for you as well. Um, the reason I provided this is because on this welding shop safety test, I click it right there, I'll go to quiz. Um, I need to be 100% confident in your ability to work in the shop safely. So therefore, I require 100% on this safety quiz. Now I've made this easy for you and I will tell you about that in just a second. I just have to close the door behind me. It's getting a little loud. All right, so with this, you can see you've got the summary, the quiz details, uh, instructions. So I've put it up to unlimited attempts and there's a reason for that. I will explain that. Um, so before you submit the quiz, you'll have the opportunity to return to questions that you've missed or not yet answered uh, and start begin attempt one. Okay, cool. Uh, but what I've done is I have set up this quiz. So every time you take this quiz, it eliminates all of the correct answers. So every time you take this quiz, say you got 25 out of 30, it's going to eliminate those 25 questions and next attempt is just going to give you those five questions you got wrong. So it's guiding you to that 100%. Uh, it's kind of my way of making sure that everyone gets this completed. And I've got the PowerPoint for reference, the safety review Jeopardy for reference. Now, if there is something that you cannot uh, find for some reason, maybe I missed it, uh, maybe it's just not in there, uh, what I want you to do is we resort to our good friend, uh, Mr. Google. So we can go to Google, we can search up the answer for that. I'd like you to use uh, the slideshows and the presentation for the majority of it. If there's something you don't have, then go to Google for that. That will help you out there. Um, then I will basically just receive this. It should say, like it's gonna automatically mark. It's gonna update your highest mark every time. So you get 25 the first time, then you got one out of five the second time. It's going to update your mark to 26. Then you got four questions to work with. So then out of those four, um, are we allowed to search up the answers for the quiz? If you cannot find it in the slideshows, then I would, I would go with that route. I would try and use the slideshow and the presentation for the answers first. Uh, but if you need to, yes, you are able to. I wouldn't go to Google right off the bat, but I would use it if there's something that you cannot find the answer for. Uh, the whole point of it basically is just to make sure that you are all safe and we go over the shop basics here. Because when we come back, uh, it's gonna be right into the hand tools. I just completed a demo hand tools project. I'll show you that in a moment. Uh, but we're gonna jump into hand tools for about four days, maybe. Um, we'll finish up that little project. We'll put that away because that part, uh, that part of the hand tools project becomes a part of a bigger project uh, that we wrap up with all three units. So my hand tools project, when it's complete, will involve all three units. Um, so that's kind of a good way of making sure everyone gets all their credits, everyone's completed everything. And uh, I'll show you that little hand tools project. I just completed one. So what I have here, is an ax and log project. Uh, so the hand tools portion that we're working on is gonna be this ax head. So we're gonna cut this out with the hacksaw, file it down, buff it, sand to get it nice and clean. We're also gonna cut the handle for this. Uh, once we have those completed, we're gonna set those aside. Um, as we work through gas metal arc welding, our uh, semi-automated and automated welding unit, that's unit 1048. That's the one we're moving into after we do fab 1010. Uh, we'll use that to put all the bark-like features on this stump. As you can see, the stump has the bark features everywhere, and this is all simply welded. 
So this will give you a bit of welding practice. Um, but we do that once we've completed the welds in the 1048 unit. And then once we've completed the welds in the 1050 unit, shielded metal arc welding, we use that, uh, our skills there, to start putting the growth rings on top of this tree stump here. You see that, that is 6010 broad, a 332nd 6010. So it encompasses all three units. Uh, you, get, you get to show off your skills. With the ax head here, you can be more creative than this. This is just a general design that most people probably complete. Uh, if you find you have more time or you wanna make them different, you can do that as well. But uh, figure it's a good way to get all three units into one project, kind of get people to complete this. Uh, that way everyone gets their credits. And then you have a nice little something to take home as well. Uh, it doesn't weigh too much, a couple pounds, uh, but very simple. We've got a little bit of flat bar, a little bit of rod. This is actually a two inch chunk of pipe and then a three by three square plate on the bottom. Uh, and the bottom will stamp our initials on it so we know it's ours. And uh, then you should have a nice little thing to take home from the class when you're all said and done. So that's what we're gonna be working on when we come back. Uh, we'll just work on that kind of the ax portion of it this part, part right here. And then as the units progress, we'll finish up these pieces and move on. That's pretty much what I have for you today, folks. Um, I would like you to get a good start on that safety quiz. If it takes longer than one class, it takes longer than one class. Uh, I'm gonna see tonight where people are, how they're doing, and then what we're gonna do is I will make a decision uh, tonight as to whether we're gonna work on this during tomorrow's class or we move on to uh, some more safety and hand tool stuff. Uh, Cause I got hand tools, I got power tools um, and I'm giving kind of the welding safety. Uh, lots, lots to go over, lots I can give you, but uh, I'm trying to keep it as minimal as possible. I don't wanna overload you cause I know other classes are going to be probably pretty heavy on certain things. Uh, so I don't, like I said, I don't want to give you too much homework overload you with things just because this is an elective. Um, I do appreciate everyone coming in, taking my course. And I don't want you to leave thinking, oh man, that Mr. Scott, he gets so much homework, blah, blah, blah. That's, that's not what I'm about. That's not what the course is about. Uh, so I have to basically get some assessment stuff done uh, so I can get some marks. And then we come in, do our hand tool stuff get into welding right away. Um, are there any questions about any of the uh, the quiz and slideshows, the Jeopardy, anything like that that I can help you with, I can answer? Uh, where is the quiz? All right, so we'll go back to share screen. We'll share this screen. Uh, so in our Fab 1010 Fabrication Tools and Materials Unit right here, you can see, or should be able to see on your screen, uh, under Welding Safety, there's a welding shop safety test. So you can do that one. Um, sometimes you can find them under assessments and then quizzes. Sometimes they'll show up there as well. Uh, and it is there as well. But I like to go through resources and then content because this way in the welding safety unit, you can see your support materials here that will help you with the quiz because I do want to see 100% on it. Um, I will see that update in my marks. It's 30 questions, uh, but with everything I've given you and the multiple attempts, unlimited attempts actually, you should have no problem completing that. Um, so get done what you can today and I will look, see where we are at tonight. And uh, then that will determine where we're going tomorrow from that. So did that uh, answer your question? So let's see what we got here. Where is the quiz? Answer the quiz. Okay, thank you. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Search up the answer. Where is the quiz? Cool. I think we got it all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you guys get out of here. I am going to have this Zoom meeting on. I'm going to stop my recording in just a minute. Um, I'll turn my camera off. I'll turn my mic off. I'm going to be here uh, doing some work. If you guys have any questions, you can yell at me through the screen. You can email me at my learn account um, and I will be here for you to help. So that is, Dawood said he can't hear me. 
All right. Well, I'm not muted and I am nice and close. Uh, Mr. I can hear you now. I yeah. Have a problem with you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, my no mind. worries. Um, if you missed anything, hopefully the, did you have any questions, Dawit? Did you have anything you need an answer? Uh, no, I have no questions. Okay. So sounds great. Sounds good. Is there anybody else who has any questions? No. Awesome. Okay, cool. Like I said, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be doing some work. I'll be ready to answer questions. I'll help you out. It might take me a second to flip some screens and unmute myself to be able to talk to you, but I will be uh, with you uh, as soon as I get the chance. Uh, if for some reason you don't get a response, uh, my email is brian, B R I A N dot Scott, S C O T T at learn dot C S S D dot A B dot C A. So you can reach me there. And uh, that'll come direct to my email, and then I will answer your question or tell you to jump online. I'll jump online with you, and we will work out whatever problem that you're having. So, hopefully, that answers all the questions. Um, I'm gonna stop the recording now, and then, uh, yeah, you guys are good to go for the rest of the class. And I uh, just want you guys all to stay healthy. Thanks for uh, coming in, I appreciate it. And uh, I will see you all tomorrow online and hopefully two weeks in person. All right. Have a good day, folks. See ya. Bye.